What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Cambridge Audio Melomania M100 earbuds. Now, I was really kind of worried. I thought I was going to screw up the name, but I think I nailed it there. So I saw these. I got some questions about them in the, in con in the uh, comment sections of my videos. So I was able to go ahead and uh, grab these and bring them in for an honest review. You know how we do here on Ronald Tech. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, back in. But before we dive in, make sure you guys hit the like share and subscribe button. Well, like, share and subscribe, and then hit the notification bell. That way you guys are notified when videos like this and everything and all the others drop. It all helps the channel. All right, let's go ahead and talk about price and specs for these earbuds. First, start off with price. You can get these for 219 bucks on either uh, cambridgeaudio.com or amazon.com. As always, I'll leave a link in the description for both of those uh, sites so that way you can take care Take advantage of those prices. They only come in one color, which is black, uh, which is a shame. I would like to have seen these in other colors. Well, maybe down the line, they will uh, go ahead and launch that. As far as specs, they rock Bluetooth 5.3 with codec support for AAC, SBC, APTX adaptive, and APTX lossless. So you do have some future proofing there. Uh, if, you have an audio, if you have a device that supports lossless audio, you're already ahead of the game. As far as noise canceling, they do have their Qualcomm Adaptive ANC with transparency mode and wind noise reduction. You know, we will always test that out um, here on the channel. As far as battery life, uh, with, the, with noise canceling turned off, you can get up to 16 hours of playback time. With noise canceling turned on, you can get up to 10 hours. Now, if you include the case with noise canceling turned off, you get up to 52 hours while you get up to 33 hours with noise canceling turned on. Uh, they do have fast charging with A and C off. 10 minutes will get you four hours of playback time, while 10 minutes will get you two hours of playback time with noise canceling turned on. They do have wireless charging for these earbuds and charging them from zero to 100 will take about two and a half hours. All right, so moving on, we got water resistant rating, IPX4 water resistance for the earbuds. And as we go into the special features, each earbud has ten, a 10 millimeter driver with recycled neodymium <laughs> magnets. I always get that messed up. Uh, they got clear, clear voice capture, for, which has six mics with Qualcomm CVC echo canceling and noise suppression for clear calls. Low latency gaming mode. They got the wear detection sensor, Google Fast Pair, multi point connectivity and Melomania Connect app support for Android and iOS. So you got a pretty much a fully loaded uh, earbud here. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what we got with the unboxing. Let's see, here we go. Let's get in here. Okay, there we go. Wanna be as careful as possible. Let's see how we get into this. Is this a sleeve or make sure I didn't mess up anything. Looks like I'm good. All right, here we go. Just checking to make sure there was no other uh, tape. All right, pull that out. We got the white box, Cambridge Audio, oh, Cambridge only, just Cambridge. All right, and that's magnetically sealed, okay? Open that right up. You got Dear Music Lovers. Thank you for your purchase of the headphones. It proves we share a common passion. We both, we're both we both made by music and so on and so forth. Okay, now, of course, we got inside here, we have our, our information, our books and everything. This looks like just a welcome pamphlet here and a quick start guide. And inside there, we have our safety information. So... Oh, and we've got a quick guy, a quick reference card. So you have your functions right here. We'll keep this out because we're definitely going to test this out. So we'll, we'll put that to the side and we'll go ahead and pack all the, this other stuff back in, in a little bit. All right, let's sit this off here. And of course, we got the ear. We've got the case with the earbuds in it. So we'll set that to the side real quick. Let's see what else we got in here. All right. 
Yeah, I like that. It tells you which way. Not only do they have it labeled, your USB C, your USB A, USB C cable, and your ear pub and your ear tips, but they also tell you right here, you know, one's this way, one's that way. You cannot have too much information. All right, so we pull this out, of course. USB A to USB C charging cable. Let's check out the length on this. Not too pretty short, but does have the Cambridge audio uh logo on it. So I like that detail. All right. And of course, we got our box for the air tips. Let's see what we got. I'm trying to, again, trying to be careful. Don't want to damage these in case I return them. All right. So, right at the top, we got a large and small silicone air tip and a large and small uh, comply foam air tip. So, I'm thinking the medium silicone are in here. I didn't even have them labeled St standard fit and premium fit. All right, I like the way they have that fit, have that labeled up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, actually, this is what comes in there. So let's go ahead and get all this stuff out the way. We're going to take a quick look at the earbuds. Let's move this over here real quick. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at these guys. All right, let's. All right, we got that off. Got that all done. All right. Now we have the case. You got the Cambridge logo here on the top. You got your LEDs here for your, let you know exactly how much battery is left on the case. Your pairing button is right here, right underneath there. And of course, you've got your USB C charging port on the back. Let me go ahead and light this up and you can see LED lights up nicely there. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the earbuds real quick. Pull one out. A little chunky, but I like the design in ear. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, uh, the Audio Technica AZ 80s uh, as far as the way that looks and the Jabra's. Um, to be, you know, to be honest. So again, like that, the touch control button is the Cambridge logo, which I think is very, very cool. I got that detailing around it, the silver detailing, very nice. All right. We've got the tape on here. We'll remove that in a second. That's protecting, has your wear sensor. We'll look at that in a little bit. All right, and of course, they have the medium tips on there. Very nice. I like the black and chrome or black and silver uh, combination here. That matte finish also I really, really do like. All right, so we're going to make sure, you know what? Let me go ahead and uh, take one of these. Let me peel. I'm going to peel that off, okay? We're going to put this in. Let me grab my phone real quick. And we're going to take a quick picture just so I can show you what they look like in the air. All right. And here's how they look in the air. Very nice. Very comfortable. Very light feeling. Once you have them in, I more likely will move up to the large ear tip and on these for testing. But again, a very comfortable, light fitting earbud when you have them in. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and get these guys through the pairing process. And of course, you know, the multi-point connection as well stay strapped in all right we're back in let's go ahead and get these guys paired up we're going to quickly test the um <clears throat> excuse me we'll quickly test the google fast pair so let's go ahead and pop these open see if fast pair picks up they are in pairing mode let's go ahead and pull these out Okay, I thought fast pair would work. We're doing this in real time. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it took a little bit. I don't know what the deal was with that, but Google fast pair does work. So let's go ahead and hit connect. All right, I think we're good there. Let's make sure. 
it says device connected all right so let's go ahead and in, check our bluetooth settings here all right there it is I already named it I already gave it my name i like that so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and test the uh, multi-point so we're going to go ahead and disconnect that all right we're done there so now it's disconnected officially so now what we're going to do is now they're back in pairing mode i'm going to slide this over let me show you all that they're back in pairing mode we're going to pull out the iphone 13 pro max all right let's go ahead and get into here go into bluetooth they already see them down here at the bottom well, let me move back down here at the bottom so let's go ahead and pair that up and they are connected so now we don't go back in look google fast press asking to connect again so yes we're going to go ahead and connect we're done there so that worked let me go ahead and make sure and show that it is connected to both devices you see it here on the right here on the uh iphone and you see it right here on the galaxy s23 ultra so we are good to go as far as multi-point goes so now what we're going to do real quick and pop these in real fast and we're going to test the audio on these right here right now let me pull up a video here on the iphone and here on the on my uh s23 ultra all right, we got one. We got one Paul ready to go here. And let's see. Let's let's go to one. Let's go to Sure, let's do that one. All right. All right, so we got the videos ready to go. So what we're going to do now, I'm trying to get that light glare out of the way so you guys can see. All right, so what we got? We got the iPhone and the Galaxy ready to go. Let's jump in. We're going to start with the iPhone first. All right, I got the audio in the air. All right, now let's go ahead and go to the, uh, the Galaxy phone. Okay, we got audio there. Now let's see if audio switching works uh, right out of the box. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit, we're going to hit play here and see if it will automatically switch the audio source from my Galaxy phone to my iPhone. Let's see if they do it. No, it does not work right out of the box. So as of right now, that, that feature does not work, but multi-point works right out of the box, which is a great thing. Let's continue. All right, real quick, we're gonna go ahead and test the wireless charging. We got the wireless charging case here. We're gonna grab my my uh, S23 Ultra here. We're gonna go ahead and put that on just to prove that it does charge. There's the light, all right? So now we'll do, we're gonna go ahead and grab the case here. Head for, earbuds are in the case. And there it is. So wireless charging does work. Let's continue. All right, went out, downloaded the Melomania Connect app, and right off the top, there is an update available. So we're gonna go ahead and run this update, and then we'll come back and do a walkthrough. All right, we're back in, update is complete. Let's go ahead and dive in. Obviously, they're telling me I get an additional six month warranty when I register my headphones. You know I'm gonna take care of that. So let's go ahead and go through. You got the picture of the headphones on the top. You got their battery levels right underneath there. Then of course you got their firmware version underneath that. Moving on down, you got your user guide, which you can go ahead and access. Uh, you got your ambient sound controls, your ambient noise controls. You got normal noise canceling and transparency. So I normally will just, ah, if I can get that to turn off, I guess to stay on. So here you can use the control the external ones when you reach, you know, when it reaches your ear. So we'll do all three. Actually, you, you know, whatever. We'll do all three of them. And then, of course, you got your touch controls. Here you can turn them off and on. 
but you cannot change them as far as um, what taps and everything else like that. We'll walk through the touch controls later on, but I just wanted to show you guys that you cannot, you can turn them off and on like the reject calls. You can turn that off or whatever, like voice assistant. If you don't want to, you have to use that. You can turn that off the feature rather. You just can't uh, change uh, exactly how the, how you want them as far as the taps and everything. So, I'll, okay, I'll take it. Um, as far as the equalizer, you do have your uh, presets here right on the front, but you can also customize and go in. You got a seven band equalizer here. You can really, you can fine tune your sound. Also save your uh, EQ pre um, save your new EQ preset. If you want, you know, we'll play with that a little later on as well. And then of course you got your wear detection. You can enable play pause when the ear tips, when the earbuds are out, I'm going to make sure that's turned on. Okay. Then of course you got mono audio. So this basically allows you to uh, share your audio with a, a friend, family member, girlfriend, wife. If you want to hear what you're hearing, you can turn this on and then hand them one of hand them one of the earbuds and they can listen to the exact same thing you're listening to without having to worry about the wear detection option issue there or option. All right. So then of course you got sleep mode. You can enable that. Basically uh, you touch off any type of uh like notifications or anything like that going on while you have them in while you're sleeping uh, and everything. So that's a good feature to have. Also, you got gaming mode. You can enable that. Uh, gives you give your latency issue, you know, makes latency a lot less or uh, a problem uh, with these earbuds when you're playing games or even when you're watching videos. I would normally uh, keep this on just because of the low latency aspect of it. You got your audio feedback which is, you know, go in, you can switch, select your language, you, language or tones. If you just want tones, I'd rather have language and you got a whole bunch of languages to choose from. Then of course you got your auto power off option. I have mine set for 30 minutes. Basically this will do after 30 minutes elapsed with no audio being played through them. The earbuds will turn off uh, to help save battery in order to get them re -adjet. I think you more likely would just have to put them in the case and then take them back out real quick. Uh, just to get them uh, to turn back on. All right, then under app settings, you got your feedback, you can do product registration, you got your technical support, and of course you can restore all your prompts and everything, basically factory reset everything um, if you need to. All right, so that's a quick look and run through of the uh, Mel Mel Melomania, <laughs> Melomania Connect app for the Melomania M100s. Let's continue. All right, back in. What we're going to do now is we're going to our monomo and in-ear detection test. Uh, first off, let me explain something about the in-ear detection. Um, you do have to take both earbuds out of your ear in order for the pause for the audio to pause. I don't understand the concept of that because normally when you want to take, you want to be able to uh, take one out. At least me, I like to be able to take just one earbud out and uh, be able to pause my audio when I'm talking to somebody and then put it back in. I like that feature personally, um, but for some reason, they have a set where you have to take them both out. So we're gonna go ahead and test that, and we're gonna test the mono mode to make sure that you can listen to uh, one while the other one's in. Uh, it should all work together, but let's go ahead and do the test anyway. So we're gonna play some audio, all right? We got audio coming out, playing right now, so we're gonna take them both out, and it pause the audio. Now we're gonna put them back in. All right, audio played back, and it was a rep, and it responded very quickly, so I like that. The response time is very good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the left one out, put it in the case and close it. Audio still playing. All right, let's go ahead and put it back in. All right, we got audio playing out of the left and right, so we're going to go ahead and put the right one in, close it. Audio does continue to play. All right, put it back in. Audio is also playing there as well. So, again, mono mode, you can listen to them individually if you need to. Doubles the uh, battery life. But 
you have to take them both out in order to use the audio play pause feature, which absolutely makes no sense to me. So I may even just turn that off in the app. So let's continue. All right, we're back in. What we're going to do now is the uh, button control test. We have our cheat sheet right here. And again, like I said, you cannot uh, customize your button controls. They are set as default. So we're going to go ahead and go through the gestures anyway. So what we have here is we're going to get some music playing. All right, we got audio playing. Now, according to our cheat card, <laughs> single tap on the right earbud would give you play pause. So we're going to do that. All right, single tap the right one. It paused the audio. Let's hit it again. All right. Now, again, it will pause it. It will start it again. Now, while music is playing, if you press and hold the right ear but it will turn up the volume. So let's go ahead and try that. All right. As you see, the audio went up. Now, same thing. As long as the audio is playing on the... You don't press the left ear button, it will go down. And you see, it went down. All right. So now if we double, excuse me, if we double tap the right ear button, it will skip to the next track. So let's go ahead. One, two. All right. Went to the next track. Now if we double tap the left. It will go back to our uh, previous track. Double tap the left. It started over one more time took us back to the previous track. All right. So then all those features work. Now, if you want to, um, go cycle through your noise canceling and on any state, you can just go ahead, whether music's playing or not, you can go ahead and single tap the left earbud. It'll give you the audible where you're cycling through your noise canceling features. All right. I went to normal. Now I'm in noise canceling. And now I'm in transparency mode again. All right, so that all works. Now, if you do a triple tap on either the left or right earbud, it will call up the uh, voice assistant, but you have to pause audio first. So we will single tap the right. But I, all right, I did hit it right the first time. It was a little off center. So now I'll go ahead and pause it. Now I'm going to triple tap the left one. One, two, three. All right, that called up the... Voice assistant, what's the weather for tomorrow? Okay. He's giving me the audible of the noise cancel of the uh, weather. So that, that works. All right. They went through Gemini to give it to me instead of the voice assistant, but I'll fix that. That's my thing. All right. So, and again, with the, uh, if you're on calls, if you left or right, when the calls come in, if you double tap, it will pick it up. If you trip while you're on the call or in the call, you double tap either the left or right. It will hang up. If you want to reject the call while it's coming in, you, you can press and hold either earbud and it will reject the call, sending them the voicemail. So, as far as all the audible audio features, the app, the, the touch controls are working properly. Again, these cannot be uh, configured. They are set and de at the default. Uh, I, I have no problem with that, but I know so I do like to be able to change them, but I have no problem with them being set like that. So let's continue. This is a mic test with the Cambridge Audio Malomania M100 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Cambridge Audio Malamania M100 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Cambridge Audio Malamania M100 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Cambridge Audio Malamania M100 earbuds in a quiet location. All right, we are out in my backyard. We're going to do a noise canceling test for the Cambridge Audio Melomania M100 earbuds. Let me paint the picture for you right now. I have it in transparency mode. Now I didn't mention earlier that transparency and noise canceling has three levels to them. As you can see, transparency has high, low and voice. So we're gonna go ahead, we're in a high mode right now, as you can see. 
And let me paint the picture for you. We got traffic from the turnpike. We got traffic from the street behind the house. We got nature out here. We got squirrels running around. We got air, central air units firing off and on. So we got a really good test bed here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and switch over to noise canceling. All right, got the audible for noise canceling. And they also have a high, medium and low setting. So we'll go ahead and use the low, I mean the high setting here. And to be honest, it does do knock out a lot of sound. I can still hear just a little bit of the uh, tramp, the turnpike bridge behind the camera. Uh, I am using the large ear tips, so I did switch them out. So I got a better seal uh, than on the with the medium, but I can still hear just a little bit of the uh, traffic from the turnpike bridge. I cannot hear traffic from the street, but um, behind the house, which is really good. And I really do. I really do like that. So that's a, a good development there. So again, I you know, I got some wind going on, but a little bit, but I can feel it. I can't hear it. So if I had to rate these as far as from one to 10, one being absolute trash, 10 being the best ever, I would definitely have to give these uh I'll give them a seven. Uh, no, you know, I'll, yeah, seven, seven and a half. I'll give them seven and a half uh, because once I switched out the air tips, it did shut, you know, it did knock out a lot of the traffic noise, uh, but not all of it. So I'm going to give it a seven and a half to be fair, which is pretty good. All right. All right. I could bear, I heard just a little bit of the plane flying over right now. I could barely hear that, which is a really good thing. So seven and a half works perfectly. So this has been uh, ANC test for the Cambridge Audio Melomania M100 earbuds. Pretty good. All right, we are back in. What we're gonna do now is the sound test. We went ahead and going into the app. As you can see, I'm currently in transparency mode. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you my EQ settings that I set up here on the app for these earbuds. You guys want to take a look. You want to pause it and try it yourself. Let me know what you think. All right. So let's go ahead and back out of here. We will switch these guys to noise canceling mode. All right. Noise canceling has been activated and we are on the high setting. You know, that's how I like to listen to my music. So let's go ahead and get into our first song here. All right, let me pause that, make sure we're in our optimal listening level. All right, we're there. Here we go. Okay. Right off the bat, I like the clarity. Piano sounds nice and crisp. Got the echoing from the, the, the echoing detail, rather. Okay. Really enjoying the clarity. All right, now we got the background instruments coming in. All right, very nice. I love the sound stage widened out. Nice rumble from the key from the cello, rather. So that detail is definitely there, prominent. I like the balance. Nothing seems to be recessed. Right now we got the uh, background vocalist coming in. Now it's definitely widened out. I got vocalists in both ears. Sounds like music is all around me. Nice detail with the violin there, background violin. I'm really loving the clarity, the very, very good very, very good clarity. I, I'm really, really enjoy that. All right. So again, just a very nice sound all the way around on that. Let's go ahead and uh, get into our bass test. We go down here to our bass woofer test. Here we go. I love this. Oh, that low end is so nice. 
Oh, it handles it so well, too. Oh. oh, I love it. it. Sounds so good. Oh, this sound. Oh, just really clean. I love how you know you got that nice bump. You got that nice thump from the other one, from the other bass, but that low end uh, reverb is so good. Oh, it just r just rumbles inside your ear. Very nice. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, let's go ahead and flip over to uh, E40 real quick. Let's go ahead and grab him up. Just see how it sounds in contrast real quick. Nice thump. Got that rumble. Oh, so clean. And again, vocal clarity is nice. Very clean. I love the thump from the bass and then that reverb fades away, ripples in the pond, sounds really good. All right, just wanted to get about 30 seconds of that in before we go into our final song. All right, here we go. All right, again, nice. Warm start off, very clean. Love the rumble from the keyboard. You got that nice little thump from the kick drum. Now we got the lead saxophone coming in. Very crisp. Again, clarity is great. I just love the way it sounds. That's very clean. All right, here we go with the high note. Here it is right here. Oh, very nice. Now we got the background instruments coming in. Oh, soundstage widens out nicely. Nice balance. And the again, the clarity is right up there with some of the best I've got in my opinion, but you know what has to, you know what has to happen in order for that to be a true statement. Again, very clean sounding. I love that you got the nice kick, uh, from the, um, the bass, the kick drum on the bit on the drum set. It had that nice little thump to it as well. The, the balance was there with all the instruments, the background, everything they even the, when they came in, they didn't sound like they came in and faded away. They came in, they stayed engaged, felt like they stayed engaged, and it was just a really great overall sound. All right, so again, just really good. I love the clarity on these, just fantastic. Uh, if there was one thing I had to uh, say something about is I wish it was just a tick louder. I could have went up another tick and got the sound that I wanted, but I'm, I'm kind of a stickler to my uh, volume setting. I don't like to go past that. I like to preserve my hearing. But if let me put this on again real fast. If I right here, if they sound like that right here, I had no problems with these. These would be a, a perfect, uh, almost perfect pair of hair buds. Uh, just great. But again, I did uh, swapped out the ear tips using the larger ear one ear tips there. I still get great seal, great sound out of them. I just wish it was just a tad bit louder. Uh, that'll be my only downside to these. All right, so let me go ahead. That basically segues me into my likes and dislikes. So let's slide over there and get that done. All right, we're back in for my likes and dislikes for the Cambridge Audio Melomania M100 earbuds. And let's go ahead and start with my dislikes. Number one, that auto that auto off feature where you have to take both earbuds out in order for it to pause your audio. I think that is absolutely ridiculous, personally. I think that should be enough function that what happened was just one earbud. Hopefully in a future update, they will correct that. Um, let me see anything else other than that. Uh, um, the function about not being able to 
uh, configure your touch controls. I understand why they have it set that way. And I like the fact that if you're not going to use it, you got the option to turn it off. But I wish you could go ahead and figure, you know, just set it up to how many touches you want to do, actuate uh, what you wanted to do. Um, I hope that made sense. Um, let me see. And of course, the natural volume. I wish it was just a little bit louder, just one tick louder, I think. Um, for, as far as natural sound goes, even when I had the treble turn maxed out in my pre in my EQ setting, it did get nice, decent sound. But I wish if it had just an extra tick of uh, natural volume to it, I think these guys would be really, really, I mean, they're really good, but I think they would definitely be uh, up there on the next level. Again, I don't listen to my earbuds at max volume. So that's where I'm coming from as my perspective uh, when it comes to earbuds. I, sh I feel as though you shouldn't have to listen to them at max volume in order to get that great sound out of them. All right, so anything else I dislike? Um, no, I think that covers just about everything. Oh, one more thing, the audio switching. I wish these guys had it. Uh, hopefully, again, that'll be something they add in the future update uh, with these earbuds. All right, so I think that's all my dislikes. Let's flip to my likes. I like the look of them. Uh, let's pull it out real quick. I like that black with the silver. I really like that. And I like the fact that the whole touch control is the Cambridge logo. I, I think that's very cool. Um, I like the case. Nice slender. Uh, gives me uh, vibes of the uh, the uh, Bang & Olufsen B.O. Play EQ case. Gives me that feel when you look at it. Um, again, matte finish and everything like that. Uh, wireless charging, definitely a huge bonus there. Uh, I think that should be standard on all earbuds. I'm looking at you both. Um, let's see, what else do I... I like the app. Very, you know, very direct. It gives you everything you need. No, 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 thrill, no frills, no thrills, anything like that. This gives you exactly what you need um, to uh, work these earbuds and everything like that. Um, I do like the sound, despite the fact of my uh, my uh, res reservations wishing they were just a little bit louder. I do like the sound of them, though. That's uh, I'm just going to be keep that completely honest with you. I do like how they sound. Um, I just wish they had a little bit more natural volume to them. Uh, outside of that, I love the bass on these. The bass on these is really good. I can't wait. Uh, to get these guys to go head to head and get some of my top earbuds. Uh, I got to figure out uh, that uh, that lineup too. All right. So, uh, yeah, very, very good earbuds. I think that covers all my likes and dislikes. All right. Yep. That covers it. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. So this has been an unboxing and review of the Cambridge Audio Melomania M100 earbuds. A really good pair. I do like them despite my misgiving, some of my, uh, not misgivings, but some of my uh, dislikes. I think some of those can be update, can be resolved with an update, a firmware update. Other than that, these are really, really good. I cannot wait to get these uh, earbuds uh, through and have them test, have them compared to the ones that I have. Uh, what I, you know, look out, I'm gonna put a survey in the, on the, in the community we're going to, I'm going to put a list of earbuds out there and the top six will get into the, uh, will be part of the gauntlet series. So I want to hear from you guys. I was just thinking about this. Uh, I'm going to let you guys help me out as far as picking which, uh, which, uh, earbuds these guys will go up against in the gauntlet. So pay attention and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you got the notification bell, uh, turned on. So that way you can go on and you can put your vote in. I'm going to put it up uh, sometime soon. Uh, so look out for it. And then once I do that, it will obviously be after this video, but releases. Uh, but put that in. And like I said, it'll be up for, I'll leave it up for a week. And then we'll go ahead and uh, whatever videos um, the top six uh, voted on videos rather will be in the gauntlet series. So you guys can check that out then. And anybody after that more likely will get their own head to head video, uh, depending on how many votes they get. All right. So again, I'm gonna leave this up to the community, but there will be a gauntlet series for these guys. And I can't wait 
uh, to see what you guys, uh, which uh, headphones you, hey, earbuds, there I go again, you guys want to check. All right, but again, if you want want to go ahead, I say give these guys a shot. You may like them, you may not, but I, I do. They're going to be part of my rotation. I just want to see uh, what you guys, I just can't wait to see these guys in a head-to-head -head gauntlet series that you guys set up. Again, i like to thank you guys for coming out. Very good pair of earbuds. 200 bucks. Go ahead and check them out. Yes, 200 bucks. Were these 200 bucks? I think they were 200 bucks. A um, little bit over 200. So, but go ahead and uh, check these guys out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And look out for that vote, for that poll. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.